Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. Uh, Saturday morning, I've been out tinkering and uh, I picked up something today. I have these little 502s and stuff. Man, these little stoves, I like them. Well, today, went and met a guy and he had a, a Peak One model 576, 700. <clears throat> And I was like, hey man, I want to I want to get me one of those. So I went and met him and it came in the tin. Now I think it's supposed to have a thing where you can use this stuff, but it don't. But still a pretty cool little stove. I've never fired, I just got home with it. It's not perfect shape. It's been used. This guy was really cool though. He was uh he worked for the park service. He's worked all over the United States. Uh, Scout Master, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, with the, the stove, the label got melted a little bit. But uh, we're going to give it a try. It's a little bit of fuel in it. I'm going to put a little bit more in it. We'll, uh, See how it does. I mean, other than the the label being burnt sometime in the past, uh, there's no rust. Everything looks sound on it. The fuel, it's a little old, but it's not. It's not like turned to varnish or nothing. I'm gonna just put a little bit of fresh on top of it. enough. I don't want to overflow it. I always put this here in case it drips. It always drips out a little bit. <clears throat> now these stoves are a little different than uh, the other stoves I'm used to. This is the, the fuel control valve. And this piece, I believe, cleans the uh, tip. I think you need to do this about 10 times. Clean it out good. Now we'll start with about I don't know 23 pumps. We'll pump it till it feels tight. Let's check the check valve. Yep, check valve's leaking a little bit in it. That's all right. We can fix that. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I hear it. You know what? Let's try preheating a little bit. So maybe it won't get too, too awful flamey. I am going to take that check valve out and uh, clean it up good. It's the first kind of these stoves I've ever had with this over the top generator like that.
say after it gets going, pump it more. Control it pretty good. It's really rolling. I mean, it's rolling. Let me see if I can pick you up here. Still got a little yellow flame on it. So we can clean the tip. This is as I got it. It's never been cleaned. Seems to do better whenever I was pumping it. What I'm impressed with this little stove. It's raging. I do hate that the label got messed up, but that's the only thing, man. It come with the cool, cool metal case. Really pleased with it, and it's burning really good. Didn't know nothing about this, you know, used to be old 502s, 500s, it's so like I say, it's the first one I've ever had like this, and I'll tell you what, I like it, I'm gonna see if we can turn it up some, tell them losing pressure, that check valve's leaking a little bit, that can be fixed, but There it is, man. Coleman Peak One. Model 576-700. Let's see. I think this is a... Uh, oops. I think it's a, uh, 1 of 78. Let me check. Yep. This is January of 1978 is when this stove was. All right, man. Hey, thanks for being in the shop. I hope you dig it.